Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup, which starts with d4. Bishop comes on f4, trying to just develop the bishop before closing the spawn chain. Otherwise, the bishop is tough to be uh, developed. And since opponent has played this, I'll just protect my pawn further in the center. But I'll take with e pawn if, in case the opponent does take. We will develop our knight, our bishop, and our queen on these respective squares, going for the king side attack later on let's see what the opponent does didn't expect i think c3 that's why it's taking time here to evaluate what should be the right move uh okay let's go with the knight first trying to make sure re that the center is reinforced and then i can pin the knight and probably go here as well with my knight attacking the knight further of course, queen can also come here. I can definitely play knight here. Opponent cannot take with the knight. I can take with the bishop. I can take with the pawn. Things would be fine. So he does take. I can take with the bishop as well. Actually, I should not spoil my pawn structure right away. Let's see if opponent is willing to open castles. I'll take this first. And then take the pawn as well, I think. Yep, and I can now actually place my bishop here on d6. That would be nice. Opponent is trying to spoil my castling. Well, I have a queen as well that attacks the bishop as well as the pawn, which he saves both by moving his queen. I think this is the right time. Or I can spoil his pawn structure as well both look fine to me uh but i can spoil this pawn structure let's do it i think yep let's rip apart the king open i will always have this coming next and all i need to do is uh play some moves that okay let's go with the check first maybe or or develop the knight of course this was coming now i have a check he moves and i have this pawn forward as well just having a good structure here of the pawns can play pawn forward again as well solidifying this whole thing so that there's no troubles later on now the opponent has this right move where he can attack my queen and the pawn simultaneously but i'll play uh, queen to f3 which attacks the pawn further uh, or i can go here as well but now nah, let's not give him anything for free actually i could have as well uh this bishop is annoying not letting me castle so he saves the pawn this time i think i should play pawn forward once maybe consider casting on the queen side now as there's no such attack happening the spawn forward um can be troublesome not really i can go here i think i should castle let's see the knight is still okay going anywhere should not be that bad of a move but we'll have to check later on King can go up and come into defenses as well. So that should be okay. I'll try to stick around uh, here. The idea is after he takes, I get to take as well. Okay. Gets the bishop instead. How is this if I take? Um, rather I'll make him do some troubles because after I remove my knight, his queen will be under attack. He can take the pawn, but he doesn't as of now. I'll take this. Okay, he does take as well. 
I'll take with this pawn maybe. Let's see what open does. This is weak. Uh, side steps. What is he doing? Not sure, but I think I should start with a check first. Not a bad idea. I'll take on a pawn. Or, yeah, I should actually. Then just displace my knight somewhere, attack the bishop. His queen can exchange, but doesn't matter. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, I've got a knight that will be attacking him. So let's go here. Uh, we can go ahead as well next. Trying to take on the pawn. This is attacking the bishop as well as the pawn. My rooks are now connected. So position looks further more strong. This would be actually nice. Then probably check from here. Can do something about it. Okay, goes for the pawn now. But uh, I don't think it works because I take this and this is protecting as well. And the open designs. That was a 1960 and went down like house of cards. Let's analyze the game quickly once from computer perspective as well. So that we just assure that you're pretty much correct in what you're doing or how we can improve it further. So the game started off with d4, the London system setup. My opponent plays d5. I develop the bishop on f4, pawn e6 by opponent. I play e3, then comes c5, and I played c3, which was the right move. Just trying to make sure that the strong pyramid in the center is always nice. Uh, I can, of course, develop my bishop later. And if pawn forward, we have this move uh, pawn to b3, uh, forcing him to take. Generally, the opponent follows up uh, with b5, trying to hold on to the pawn, but then we can have a4 as well. Uh, we have covered that line earlier as well, so I'll paste the link in the description below as well for you to refer. Now, uh, knight c6, and I go with knight f3, open the left side of the knight on f6. I pin the knight by playing bishop there, and then I went with knight on e5, open does take. I take back with the bishop, right move, because taking with the pawn would spoil the pawn chain, so not required. Uh, here I took on the knight as well, which was the right move after the open castle. Takes back with the pawn, and I took the, the free pawn as well. Uh, open tries to stop me from castling, uh, and I went with queen to a4. Open defends uh, with queen. This, this was actually bad because the best move was queen uh, bishop on uh, b5. That just makes my queen go back from here. I can either go back on c2 or probably a4 as h4 as well as computer suggesting trying to pressurize on f6. Uh, this was actually a better move, but my opponent went uh, for saving with the queen uh, to c8, which and I was thinking in the game that how is bishop attacking the rook, but that doesn't do anything because uh, my opponent can simply save. And now, yes, my bishop can be a pain uh, for the opponent, but uh, not as much as I would have liked to by spoiling his pawn structure at, at complete waste. So there can be one trouble as here as well. Suppose I play some kind of move like h4. Uh, I was expecting him to play knight as well here. The problem is after I develop my knight, open can take off my bishop and my pawn gets weaker further. And now this pawn, which was the advantage earlier, is no more an advantage. So rather I took on the knight in the game after my open moved his queen, spoiled its pawn structure, and then developed the knight on d2. Here my opponent thought that he can just simply take on the pawn. So he put up the rook on b8, and I first gave a check so that he, uh, I get my queen on the right side, and then I can play pawn to b4. That's what I do, because otherwise uh, my queen wouldn't have gone here. Uh, I was never planning to play queen to b3. That is, doesn't save my pawn on c5. So I wanted something to save my c5 as well, as well as to move this pawn. So the best move was b4 for me. I can, of course, play a3 as well, just in case he tries to move the bishop and tries to take the pawn. Then a3 would have helped because I can take back with the a pawn. My rook would be active, and then I can go for some checkmating attacks. Here my opponent attacks with the rook uh, on g8. 
attacking the queen. The only move was uh, queen to f3, trying to save the uh, guard the pawn, as well as attack on the f6. And my opponent saves this with the pawn, uh, which is not uh, the right move. You could have moved the pawn forward. That was better uh, because that symmetric in the structure would also have help him take control of the light squares at least. So I played a3 first, trying to solidify my center there. Open plays e5, uh, and I castle on the queen side. Uh, castle on the queen side was an okay move because evaluation didn't go down. So it was right there. Open plays pawn forward to e4. I go to uh, queen, queen goes to f4 now, just trying to hold on to the attack on this pawn. Now, of course, if opponent does take here, uh, we have a few moves. Uh, for example, first to start with, I can take on the pawn and opponent cannot take back because of course, if this happens, lose the queen and the game as well. Uh, because after he does take, we have this check coming, uh, which would be a folk as well, attacking the king, uh, uh, sorry, uh, attacking the king as well as the rook so that was the threat uh, if the opponent doesn't it does take on the pawn so opponent gets his bishop on uh, d3 and i played f3 straight away trying to displace this pawn from here because of course if he does take i can take with the knight and now i'm attacking the bishop again with my rook so that's a nice move uh, and i get to have my knight also active uh, which can le lead to some quick checkmate as king is stuck in the corner. Uh, let's go back to the game where uh, I played f3 and my opponent started uh, to break uh, things open from the queen side where I had castled earlier. Uh, so I took on the pawn first, opponent does take the pawn and I take back with the c pawn so that my pawn structure is also still maintained, the pawn chain. Uh, opponent goes queen c8, that was a weird move because we are just leaving this pawn hanging. Uh, I actually or open could have even taken the pawn maybe uh, but that's also bad because after I take he cannot move the bishop away which is being attacked and if he tries to safeguard this by moving queen I can of course take on the pawn as well uh, I can take with the knight too both things work but taking with the queen is better because it comes with a check uh, so yeah it's a controlled situation as you see White is way ahead in the game. I took on the pawn, often tried to play queen c8 there. Uh, I took on the pawn, gave him a check, he saves with the rook. I took on the pawn so that after he takes back, I can move my knight on f3 and attack the bishop. And it doesn't save bishop, surprisingly. Uh, yes, bishop can be saved at least for once. And once that happens, I was just trying to go to g5, as I mentioned in the game as well, the idea of taking on the pawn later on. And if he tries to save the queen, I can take the bishop down, of course. Yes, he can take back with the queen. But as you see, uh, I'm 6.3 ahead in the game and I should probably win it easy from here. Because once I play queen on f4, there's no option but to take on the queen. Otherwise, he loses the rook uh, or the queen I'll take. So something is going to happen and that's not good for black. So here uh, I took on the bishop and my opponent resigns. So that was quick. And easy, I would say. Uh, 26 moves is not bad at all. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It gives me motivation to keep posting these videos on a daily basis without a miss. Uh, thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.